Linktree tutorial full guide for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can build your own Linktree. So Linktree is a tool that we all know and love because it allows us to summarize all our links together. So when we want to summarize all our links together, we might have a couple of different reasons on why we might want to do that. Oftentimes, social media platforms have limitations on the number of links that you can add in a post or that you can add in your bio. So with Instagram, you can't add links in posts. You can only have one link in your bio. And that's where, you know, the popular phrase of link in bio comes in. So Linktree allows us to put a singular link in our bios, which has all of our social media handles. It can include all of our affiliates. It can include all of our recommendations and so much more. So to get started, simply click on sign up for free on Linktree. Linktree has a starter as well as a pro version, but you can get started from scratch without having to pay anything on Linktree. Just type in your email address, click on continue, and then after that, you're just going to create a suitable password for your account. After that, you're going to choose a Linktree username. So usually if this, if you're an influencer or if you are a brand, your username should reflect that. So let's say I am building this for my personal use. I'm going to search for Lily Davis, but that is taken. What I'm going to do is I can add like a prefix. So the Lily Davis that is also taken the Lily Davis or the Lily Flower. And this is available. So I think I'm going to go with that. So you might have to alter your name a little bit to be able to get the accurate link tree that you want. Once you select the link tree of your choice, you can move towards the next step. So you're just going to click on continue over here. And once you click on continue, proceed with the free version. Later on in this video, we will go through pricings of different plans on Linktree. Now you can select a template. I like to skip this part and I just like to get started from scratch. And we're just going to continue on and we're going to go into our Gmail account to verify our email address. So just click on verify it now and your account will be verified on Linktree. Now let's get started with creating our Linktree. So on the right in your Linktree dashboard, you will see a preview of what your Linktree looks like. You will see a account section and you will see on the top, you have your basic info. So first off, you're gonna click on the top left where it shows a profile image. You're going to click on upload your own and you can upload your own profile image. I'm just going to be using a random image over here and click on crop and then click on upload. I'm going to use this as my cover photo. And after that, you can add a bio. You can add all of your socials. So waiting for the upload to be completed. And now I'm going to add a bio. So hi, or instead of you know, rating high because most people that have clicked on your link tree are probably already a part of your audience. So let's say I want to write here are all my socials and all my recommendations like this. Okay, misspelled recommendations. Okay, here are all my socials and my recommendations. And I think that's an all right bio, like it's not bad, but it definitely could be better. I'm just going to click on save. And once we've done that, it's time to add some social icons. We can click on add Instagram and we can add Instagram, TikTok, as well as YouTube and a messenger or a messaging icon. We have options to add your social icons to at the top or the bottom. And I will add Instagram over here and I can add my Instagram handle. Let's say it's going to be clean and girly. And I'll just click on add and then I'm going to place this at the top over here. And I think I'm going to move towards the next section where I'm going to maybe add my YouTube. So let's say it's going to be youtube.com slash gleaming, gleaming girly. And then I'll just click on add. And once I've done that, I am just going to close this and my social icons have been added. And these icons are just going to serve as a simple way for people to access my social media. 
Now from here, I can start adding links. So links can be to affiliate products. Links can be to really pretty much anything. You could even link uh, your Instagram and stuff. But you will see on the left, currently Linktree has created a new variation where other than your basic links, you actually have a shop version. So you can actually add product recommendations. You can add, you know, promote your Amazon storefront. You can promote um, affiliates in a separate shop section. And instead of having just a link section, you will have a shop and a link section. So I like to create this shop section. It just makes it look a whole lot more better. And I just like to go on to Amazon and take any of my Amazon affiliates and add them here. So as an Amazon associate, you can get a product link for basically anything, a affiliate link for basically anything. You're going to get the text link. You're going to copy the link over here. Go back into Linktree, paste it here, and then click on add. And this will add the product info. And when someone clicks on the shop section and clicks on the product on, on your Linktree, you will get the commission. So having a shop section can be great for most people. And instead of a really long title, I just like to shorten the title because it can be a bit too long. The price as well as my shop. And then just click on add product. And just like that, now you will have a links tab and a shop tab. This also helps you in making sure that people are able to find what they are looking for whenever they are, you know, using Linktree. So if your audience is a part of the people that want to shop, they can shop. If they are a part of the people that just want links to your social media, they can just look at the links. So now I'm going to go into the links tab and I'll start adding a couple of links. Let's say I want to link to my most popular Pinterest post. So I can go on ahead, go into Pinterest, or let's say I want to just link to my blog. So I can just copy that, paste that over here, click on add. Once I click on add, I can add a title. So let's say my clothing store, and then I can just add a heart like this. Depending on the aesthetic that you're going for, you can, you know, make it a bit more casual, a bit more formal. You also have the ability to add them as thumbnails now so other than the classic layout you can add a thumbnail and that can make your links stand out once you've added your links it's time to go into the appearance tab on the left and you can start customizations of the appearance so this is what our links look like right now and now i can click on edit image and i can edit images if you scroll down you have a couple of different free themes and paid themes available as well as buttons available so we can fill out all of this and once you have completed all of this you can even go into your social planner and continue with their linktree planner and you even have analytics on linktree so which links are being opened these are all features of the premium version of linktree you can get linktree pro for nine dollars per month or you can get the linktree starter version for only five dollars a month so I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.